church. Prophecies about the church. I will mention about six and then I will stop. The Lord said we should pray for the church in Nigeria against a rift that will cause a major division separating the body of Christ into two camps. And this rift shall extend globally. The Lord said we should pray against a rift that will separate the body of Christ in Nigeria into two major camps. And this rift shall spread to other body of Christ in many nations of the world. Number two, the Lord said the church in many nations shall experience leadership changes. Some of these relatively, in some of these places, some relatively unknown generals will emerge. There's going to be a lot of leadership change in the church global this year. Some expected, some unexpected. There are going to be a shift. God is going to remove some leaders. That doesn't mean they have offended God. It's just a year of shift. There will be a removal of a lot of leaders, replacement of new leaders. Some is going to be because of some terrible crisis. Some is going to be because of negative things. Many are going to be because of positives and the plan of God. And the Lord said, in many of these cases, many relatively unknown generals will emerge. And some of them are going to be young people. Number three. 2022 is a year of strange revelation and deep mysteries. Unknown secrets shall be revealed. There shall be a great lot of revelations this year. God will give people so many deep secrets and many unknown facts shall be revealed. As many of you that move close to the Holy Spirit and walk right with God this year, it's a year of deep mysteries. He will speak to you and use you to speak to the church. Number four. A strange dimension, strange dimensions of the power of God shall be experienced in the body of Christ. God is ready to use those who release themselves to Him. Strange dimension is a year of the power of God. Some strange things we have never seen before, we are going to start to see them. Some strange things we have never heard before, we are going to start to hear them. The Lord said that these strange things are the move of God. And those of you that release yourself to be used of the Holy Spirit, He will use you to do these three things Himself. Strange dimensions of the power of God shall be experienced in the body of Christ. God is ready to use those who release themselves to Him for this purpose. Now, let's go to number five. The Lord's grace is still available, but the church should not take it for granted. 2022 is a year of grace. Oh, the grace of God is going to be released in such a heavy way. But don't take the grace of God for granted. The Bible says, shall we continue in sin and expect grace to abound? Don't take the grace of God for granted this year. But it's a year of grace. The grace of God will cover much of sin. The grace of God will lift. The grace of God will help. But don't take the, great, the grace of God for for granted. And number six, 2022 is a year of covenants. Making fresh covenants, renewing past covenants, and breakages of covenants. It's a year of covenants. Many people shall make fresh covenants. Many shall renew past covenants. And many shall break covenants. Believers and those who walk in unbroken covenant relationship with God shall experience a new reign of divine glory. It's a year for you to renew your covenant with God and your covenant with destiny relationship. And it's a year where many things will happen that will make a lot of people to break covenant. Marital covenant, you know, all kind of spiritual covenant. I'm not talking about evil covenant. I'm talking about relationships that are based on God. Many shall break it. They will slice this as you slice a bread and they will suffer greatly for it. Because a year of covenant is a year to respect covenant. Anyone that respect covenant will be respected by God. Your covenant with God, the covenant of your personal relationship with God, the covenant of how He called you and what you are doing in years past and how He has helped you, all those must be renewed this year. And great glory shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, as I told you, check our website www.mananataministriesinternational.org for the details of your other...